Assalamu alaikum students how are you hope you are well i am janna chuma today i am going to take your english first paper class and today is our class going to be our revision class the topics will be empty topics that you have in your syllabus okay for this at first you are going to take your english for to the book and in this book we are going to read out our passages let's get started so students this is the passages for your eft book english for to the book unit 16 lesson 1 2 one week days shagor gets up at 6 in the morning he first says his prayers then goes to his grandfather and studies bangla and english with him he and his sister have breakfast at 8 o'clock shagor gets dressed after breakfast and leaves for school at 9 o'clock because his school starts at 10 o'clock in the evening shagor does his homework He loves Bangla. It's his favorite subject. After he does his homework, Shagor spends time with his grandparents. He and his family have dinner at 9 p.m. Then he goes to bed at 10 p.m. One weeks one weekend days, Shagor visits his aunt and uncle in the afternoon. He and Kaya play in the park with their cousins. In the evening, he watches TV or reads stories to Kaya. At night, he goes to bed at 11 o'clock. So this is the story of Shagor's weekdays and weekends. How he spend his days. So Shagor one weekdays starts his days. early in the morning uh, he says his prayers then he spend his time with his grandfather by reading bangla and english then he take breakfast and goes to school uh, in the evening he does his homework then he spends his time with his grandparents and he goes to bed at 10 pm but one weekend his daily life is different shagor visits his aunt and uncle then he play with his little sister kaya and with his cousins and then in the evening he watches tv or reads a story book at night he goes to bed at 11 o'clock So students from this story you will do number 1 number in is matching you need to read this one so in our previous classes we have already learned this story fairy tale dress to dress up subject area under discussion afternoon hours of daylight was to stare at so this is the math thing and our next topic is fill in the blank and this fill in the blank from also from this passes this is fill in the blanks there are some words to fill this gap book stories dinner bangla english park weekends shagor and his grandfather read dash stories shagor loves bangla they take dinner at 9 pm shagor visits his aunt and uncle on weekends they play in the park and number 2 true false you need to write true or false whether this sentence is true or false weekdays mean holidays false shagor takes his breakfast with his sister true 
Shargo does his homework in the evening. True. He watches TV at night. It's true. He spends his time with his parents. False. Kea and Shargo play in the school ground. It's also false. Okay, number three. There are some questions. You need to read the answers of this question. At first, I am going to read out this question. Then I am going to share the answer. Okay. When does Shagor get up on weekdays? Uh, you will get this question answers in the passes. Who reads some stories? What kind of stories do they read? When do Shagor and Kea take their breakfast? When does Shagor get ready for school? When does Shagor start to school? Okay, let's see the answers of these questions. Okay, this is the answer of the question that we have read out. Number one, the answer, Shagor gets up at 6 in the morning on weekdays. B, Shagor and his grandfather read some stories. C, they read stories in Bangla and English. Shagor and Kia take their breakfast at 8 o'clock. Shagor gets ready for school after breakfast. Shagor starts for school at 9 o'clock. You can read answer from here or um, this answer also you can find in your advanced learner book. Our next topic is you will write a short composition on the passage that you have read. Number 4. Suppose you are Hamim and you read in class 4. Now write a short composition about your activities during weekdays and weekends at least in 5 sentences by answering the following questions. Remember to use capital letters and punctuation. So there are some questions you need to write a process, write a short composition by using these questions. The first question, when do you go to school? When do you do your homework? When do you visit on weekends? When do you sleep on weekends? If there is a mention a name, then you will consider yourself as the name mentioned here, Hamim. But there you can see, write a short composition about your activities during weekdays and weekends in five sentences. If uh, there is not mention any name, then you can use your own name. So, let's see the answer or the short composition on this topic. Number 4, the short composition is my activities during weekdays and weekends. I go to school at 7 in the morning. I do my homework in the evening with the help of my mother. I visit my grandparents on weekends. I play with my cousins there. I sleep at 10 p.m. on weekends. So, you can write your own daily routine or weekdays activities. You just need to write 5 sentences. You can write more than 5 sentences, but you have to write 5 sentences. In your syllabus, you have poems. Uh, one of the poems is brush brush you can see there is a poem it's from your english poetry book so here at first you need to arrange these lines according to this picture you can see here at first a a boy is drinking something b a girl is brushing her teeth then a boy is washing himself and a girl is eating an apple so there is the first one brush 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 your teeth brush them every day father mother sister brother brush them every day drink 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 some milk drink some every day father mother sister brother drink some every day eat it eat some fruits eat some every day father mother sister brother eat some every day take 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 a bath 
take one every day father mother sister brother take one every day so you will memorize this one i hope you have already learned this okay our next poem is quail this is from your buzzword book this is the poem quail this is from your buzzword book at first you need to write the poem's name then you will write poet's name the poet of this poem is meera joshi you know she is an indian poet so you will memorize this poem 14 lines okay when whips of white sail across the sky when the breeze blow warm and the days glow grow long from somewhere in the distance you can hear my song coo 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 when mangoes ripen in the dark green trees and hovering around are busy baji bees right over the wall you can hear my call who 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 when plump wild pigs go squish under your feet and juicy purple jamuns are mounted by parakeets from somewhere high you can hear my tuneful cry who 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 when from dawn to dusk you must indoors stay when all else is quiet in the middle of the day you can hear me sing sweetly caroling who 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 so this is the poem about a quail when the sky is full of white clouds when the warm breeze or wind blowing from the far distance you can hear the singing of a quail when some mangoes ripen in a tree are the busy busy bees are spending their time right over the wall you can hear again the singing of quail coo 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 so this is the poem for your mt you will memorize this one okay students okay our next topic is grammar and this is also from your buzzword book students this is your grammar part from your buzzword book you can see here use the present perfect form of the words in the brackets to rewrite these sentences so i have already uh, taught you the structure and definition of present perfect tense so i am just uh, going to uh, give a revision take a look so there are some words you need to fill this gap with this word by maintaining the structure of present perfect tense mr kumar asked me my name is tarde he does not remember it now mr kumar has forgotten my name here there, there was forget but here is written has forgotten so forgotten has forgotten you need to change it mithun cannot walk his leg is in a cast so there is break you can see mithun has broken his leg from break to there is has broken my aunt sent my father a card yesterday who got it today you can see here arrived the card has arrived today Salma is walking to school now. She goes to school by bus every day. You can see here miss Salma has missed her school bus. The mirror in my room was dirty. It is clean and polished now. You can see her clean. I have cleaned my room. My watch stopped working last week. Now it has been put right. Repaired. They have repaired my watch. So this is the one part of your grammar. Now we are going to move on to our next part. This is the next part of the grammar. There is some word you can see, and there is their meaning. Let's take a look. Gaze. 
to look at someone or something for a long time in a thoughtful way glance to look quickly at someone or something peep to look at someone or something quickly and secretly observe to watch someone or something carefully stare to look hard at someone or something for some time without moving your eyes so uh, these are uh, most similar words with the meaning but uh, not same so we need to fill this blank with this word according to their meaning here you can see use this words to complete the sentences in case use the correct form of the word so did you see the way he danced that is a question that means did you observe something carefully so here i did observe his very odd style of dancing so we will so we will going to do the other things from the other page take number 2 how do you know our new neighbors have visitors i peeped through the fence but i couldn't see but they couldn't see me number 3 how do you know i am in a hurry to leave i know because you were glancing your was very every few minutes why do you think i am being rude don't you know it's rude to stare at people like that there is a stare what are you looking at nothing i left to gaze out of the window and was people passing by this is your grammar items you will learn this one for your mt top mt exam this is punctuation it's also from your buzzword book you have written in all these punctuation sentences in your copy so let's uh, take a look in these sentences oh no i think i left my purse in the office here the first sentence and the first letter of the sentence will be capital and oh no there will be a comma then there is a exclamatory marks number 2 john bought a blue plastic umbrella you can see here john is a name and we know the first letter of a name it must be capital letter so j will be capital then if there are uh, two or more than noun together then we will put comma and there is a full stop last monday mr gupta left for nepal you can see last the first letter then the l would be capital monday is also a name mr gupta is also a name then the first letter of this will be capital and nepal is a country name then n will be capital at last it will be full stop number 4 if i cannot come for dance practice tomorrow will thara get angry if the first letter is capital then there i put a comma thara is a name t will be capital and here is a question we know if there is a question then there will be a question mark it was raining heavily outside so we stayed at home and was cartoons i will be capital there is a comma and at last is put a full stop this is punctuation you will also learn this on for your mt topic here i am going to sh uh, share your syllabus so you will follow this syllabus students then you will uh, read unseen comprehension from your buzzword book the story name is a strange visitor this is the story about an elephant and his mahot nandan and the elephant was named as kanon so kanon was an elephant who is uh, was close friend to nandan 
Once Nandan got a heart attack and he was admitted in a hospital. Then his elephant followed him and standing outside the hospital uh, about seven days. So this was the story about a uh, strange British dog that is witnessed of the writer of this story. From this you will read Flynn the Blanks question answer and so forth. So I am going to share uh, this. This is Flynn the Blanc. Question answer. And it's true or false. And then you will read out another story or the answer comprehension from your buzzword the footprint this is the story about Robinson Crusoe who was set out on a barges and uh, his ship was wrecked then he was standing in a island and there was he was only man he managed to survive there but one day he saw a footprint it was a strange because there was no one in the island so he got afraid and he was thinking something that is very very scary so he was thinking about this footprint and he locked himself in his house but after some days uh, he got out from the house but uh, he still remained afraid when he was walking on the ground he was thinking that someone is looking at him so it was very very scary so this is the story about the footprint and from this story you will also read out question answer fill in the blank and true false this is the true false uh, from the comprehension of footprint and this is the answer from the unseen comprehension the footprint okay students you will memorize all these topics and uh, go through it for your empty examination this is your empty syllabus same comprehension you will read fill in the blank and matching question answer for months in comprehension you will memorize fill in the gaps and sign short similar words and opposite words this is from your sheet make sentence in your copy poem using capital letters and punctuation from your book here i mentioned the page number w is question from your model question book advance and grammar here i also mentioned page number so you will follow this syllabus for your empty topic students all the best for your empty exam that's all for today allah hafiz